Pisces, it's Kim Enchantress here from Sydney, Australia, here to do weekly. It's the 4th of December 2023. Hope you guys are well. We have Venus entering Scorpio, very passionate, intense energy going on. So with the Lenormand cards, we've got the whip here. The whip represents um, the planet Lilith. It's about discussions and heated uh, discussions that can become heated it can be an action card as well so you know it reveals your deeper sexual and romantic desires you know it's encouraging you to accept the side of yourself that you deny or you know out of shame or fear maybe it reveals what's lurking underneath your controlled exterior so, you know, your sexuality, fetishes that you like, uh, your physicality, fights, the rows you have, abuse, conflict. You know, being in a difficult relationship can come out with this card. So, you have the sun next to it, which is a lot better energy. You've got Leo energy here. So, the, the sun is describing something that will come into your life with someone that's going to bring you joy. It speaks of how new love or being in love for the very first time feels. You know, this sun can also describe falling in love the way you did the first time. But there's something very pure about the sun. It's um, uncorrupted. You know, when the, the sun describes the state of your love life, it's telling you that you're very sure of how much you love the other person. So that's beautiful. Beautiful energy is happening for you, Pisces. We have under the deck, we have the anchor. The anchor is your daily routine, your sixth house. So it's about feeling secure and committed in this relationship. Something you or someone you can rely on, always being there for you. You know, something that's fixed and long term. So with Eros in is placed in the sixth house. It can indicate a strong connection between your work and love life. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, Pisces, this placement suggests that your work routine and daily tasks are closely linked to your sexual and romantic desires. So this could be someone in your workplace. Now, the advice is to work hard, bring success into your life. You have a lot of charisma. And this charisma is going to bring you victory. So this could be with someone that loves the water, probably a surfer. It could be someone that works on boats, um, someone that makes anchors, but or someone just lives near the seaside. But you know this person's very active, very uh, tanned, so they love to be out in the sun a lot. So I'm going to leave you with that, guys. Sending love and healing your way. Bye for now.